Unsponsored, Peer Review Turbo. Lomography made a film scanner back in the day. Apparently it was a Kickstarter back in 2013. I really didn't know anything about it or follow it at the time. Either way, it sold for 60 bucks and it was recently on sale for 40, so I bought one. Alex, who is one of my Discord homies, brought this scanner to my attention. Shout out where shout outs are due. Thank you so much for the recommendation. And by the way, you should join my Discord. I know I have a million viewer requested videos backed up. They are coming, I promise. But as we all know by now, Sweet Lou Photography is the channel where everything is always behind schedule. But anyway, let's just jump into it! The scanner has a cool design. It's small enough to fit in a camera bag, but definitely not a pocket. You can't squeeze that in there unless you have the largest cargo shorts. The design is good enough. It's a little cheap and plasticky though. And by a little, I mean it's entirely made out of plastic. But for the price, I think it's fair and to be expected to some degree. The film intake feels particularly cheap and fiddly. The knob that you wind to advance your negatives also feels pretty cheap. Those are the two biggest offenders in my opinion. The other thing that's slightly annoying is the on-off switch. It's kind of recessed in there and a little bit hard to get a good grip on. If that was out a little bit further, it'd be way easier to turn the light on and off. But apart from that, the build quality is, it's, it's all right. It's not the best, it's not the worst. You can add or remove these middle pieces to account for your phone's minimum focusing distance. In my experience, the closer the phone is to the negative, the better the scan will be. Regarding the process, all you have to do is clip your phone in here and take a picture. You can slide the mount around to accommodate wherever your phone's camera is located. Also, I feel like you really have to make sure your phone's camera is right up against the foam little peephole over here. If it's not close enough, you run the risk of getting light leaks in your scans. You know, I always show these videos to a select couple of people before anybody on earth sees these. And one of my friends brought up the point that uh, you could probably take the case off your phone to get it closer to the people. And I was like... The scanner includes this plastic clip. I think it's for scanning panoramic shots since it changes the aspect ratio. I really didn't mess with it at all to be honest though, but it does just clip right here over the light at the base of the unit. And speaking of the light, the light in the scanner is powered by two AA batteries. It's definitely bright enough to scan your film. The quality of the scans is dependent on your phone's camera. If you have an older phone, it might struggle with focusing close or getting the high resolution image that you need, but most modern phones will do the job well enough. And if you're just uploading to Instagram, you don't necessarily need the huge resolution either since it's gonna get compressed anyway. In my opinion, the lack of a good companion app is the true issue here. If you go on Lomography's website, they recommend various other apps on iOS and Android, but if you look at older articles, apparently at one point there was an official Lomography film scanner app. Not too sure what happened there though, because it's not on the Google Play Store anymore, and I can't verify for iOS, unfortunately. Either way though, it's important to note that if you don't have a dedicated film scanning app, you'll have to scan the photos, bring the photos to your computer, and do the inversion, color correction, and all that other fun stuff there. You can use apps on the phone, but I personally would much prefer do editing like that on a desktop. Or you could just use a generic film scanning app on the phone like they recommend. The app will invert the negative for you, and then it makes your life just a little bit easier to share and post it. I decided to use the Kodak Film Scanner app after I DM Lomography and they recommended it. And the Kodak app works. You can rotate your photos, you can play with basic stuff like saturation and contrast, but to me it's just a little weird that there isn't an official Lomography Film Scanner app. Especially keeping in mind the fact that they do have some of the weirder film stocks like Lomachrome Purple and stuff like that. I think a dedicated app that would understand how to interpret those colors would be awesome. And damn, these filters and frames? Very nice. I'm being sarcastic. There are definitely a couple of issues I've noticed using the Kodak film scanner. In my experience, I have to crop in on these photos because the camera on my phone is a little bit wide, so I'm actually seeing the inside of the Lomography film scanner as well as the negative. The other thing you have to keep in mind is you will see the whole strip of film, so if you don't want the edges, you'll have to crop those off as well. The one other issue I noticed in reviewing and editing these photos is that as you get to the end of the strip of film, you might notice a little tiny bit of a curve and therefore the edges of the frame get a little bit darker. That's just because it looks like it goes off the track when you're at the end of the strip of film. And I'm not entirely sure what you can do to prevent that from happening, unfortunately. Issues aside though, I like the idea of the Lomography film scanner. The thought of going to Sammy's photo lab and dropping off my film, grabbing them in the next hour and going next door, having a nice drink and being able to scan and post my film to Instagram, and all that could happen while I'm having a fine glass of scotch. That's sick. I like that. I would say jokes aside, but that's not a joke. 
I think the Lomography Film Scanner is a fantastic way for people who are starting out to get into scanning their own film. You could save a ton of money by scanning your own film. It's cheaper and it's way smaller than buying a traditional desktop scanner. And on top of that, there's no chance that you're going to buy one of these and get someone else's homemade porn stored in its hard drive because there isn't a hard drive. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you might be new around here, go check out this video. Anyway, the Lomography Film Scanner is not at all perfect, and surely there are higher quality scanners out there. But for the price, especially the sales price, I think it's worth it. It's a little bit gimmicky, but I think it's good for beginners, it might make a great gift for someone for Christmas or their birthday or whatever, and it's just a fun little unit to play around with. 6 out of 10 would be an 8 if there was a better companion app made by Lomography. Thank you so much for watching guys, really appreciate you as always, smash subscribe, hit like, discord, myspace, Instagram. Instagram. Talk to me. Tell me about your day. Do you have one of these? Do you want one of these? Uh, cool. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. But most modern phones, you don't necessarily need the Hewitt. Regarding the pro- But apart from that, it's- But apart from that, it's- it's decent. Fine. We'll do the job well enough. I went with the Kodak Film. I don't- I don't think it's help. And these- these- Like and subscribe. Sweet Lou Photography, the man.